Hello everybody, this is Style Shoshi and welcome to a brand new series, Backyard Baseball 2001. Oh my god, it's been ages since we played Backyard Baseball and yeah, it's been since season 2 of of uh what's it called? It's been season two, since season 2 of 97 Backyard Baseball. But uh, unfortunately, as you, as I explained in the state of the st state of the backyard baseball address, my hard drive just could not be fixed. But uh, you know what? We're going to start doing backyard baseball 2001, and I already have a team picked out. I already have, like, you know team name and you know team uh you know like players and all that blah if i can talk today but uh it's gonna be on hard swing spot on no pitch locator because that's cheating uh six innings no way we're doing nine i could never do a nine inning game it would take too long but six innings errors on um parks apartment number two we might as well stick with it unless uh and I plan to make this like a few, like also many multiple seasons. Like this is gonna, this is gonna be a theme. By the way, we do have, uh, we do have a couple of repeat players on our team, but nobody from season two. I made that clear, unfortunately. Um, the votes came in. I mean, I wanted to do the season two team, but you guys picked to decide to uh, go the new team route, which I'm totally okay with so anyway the team that was randomly picked was the texas rangers now the texas rangers of the early 2000s uh, they were terrible but they also had some solid players as well it's just you need more than a couple good players to actually win the whole thing so by default since we do have a pro team um i I actually this was, did this on Twitch, too, when I used to stream this. Um, if we had a pro team, we would pick the one, the one or maybe two, players that are on, on said uh, pro team. So, back in the day, it was Ivan Rodriguez. He was the catcher, can I, I believe. Can I play on your team? Uh, yes, of course you can. But, um... He's going to be our staple catcher no matter what. Uh, I already have, like, uh, positions all figured out. Um, yeah, stuff like that. Everything's all figured out, ready to go. We'll be able to do our first game today. So, yeah, it'll be fun to do. It'll be a lot of fun. I know it. You know it. So, Ivan Rodriguez. Really? He also has a pretty good bat, too. His speed's not all that great, but he's a catcher. I mean... Catchers aren't usually the fastest players in the world, but but there's but they're but they manage well on the base paths. So we actually did a random pick generator ger generator on our team as well, and uh, I, honestly it, it was fair. It's just I took out the Weber sisters because just having one Weber sister would be ridiculous, and if it picked the Weber sisters, it would be taking up two spots. So I'm just like, no, we're not gonna do the Weber sisters this time around. So, anyway, we got Yvonne Rodriguez, but our first round pick, if you want to call it that, I kid you not, I wish we took a video of us take, uh, picking this team, because, oh my god, of all things to get number one, we got Pablo Sanchez. <laughs> I literally said to myself, well, this is already a... a a contending team so oh my word um shoot who was number two overall <laughs> now i forget um who was number two i totally forget i know the team i'm just trying to figure out who we picked in order my fiance and i were organizing this by the way but uh our second round pick now who was it um, uh, 
I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think who. Oh, you know what? It was Vicky, actually. Pick me, pick me. It was. It was Vicky Kalgucci. She's she is from the season one team, and she had her she had the best average and led the league in steals. Yay. So we're counting on her this season to really do the same, if not at least half. And then our our second round pick was Maria Luna. I play on your team, but I won't slide or dive or anything. Maria Luna. Okay. We're gonna win for sure. Actually, these girls weren't the round picks, but whatever. Uh, third round, uh, our, our third round pick was Amir Khan. Pick me, dude. Ruby. Now, Amir Khan might be our starter to start things off. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, next was okay. Where are you? <laughs> I can't find you! Oh. We got Frog Kid himself, Marky Dubois. Um, or Marky Dubois. Um, he's not the greatest in the world. He is a half decent pitcher. Um, if anybody re remembers, I want to say a few years ago, maybe like 2016 or 17, uh,. I had a season with Marky Dubois, and his hitting wasn't all that great. And when we actually got him to the mound, he was giving up runs left and right. So hopefully, a ch hopefully, a uh, a reversal of fortune. So he could be a possible starting pitcher. Um, I'm not too sure on that, but who knows? Anyway, our what is a fifth? Okay, that was our fifth round pick. Our sixth round pick. Um. Our sixth round pick would go to Ricky Johnson. Plan on your team if it's okay with you. Uh, of course it is, Ricky. Oh wow, I get to play. Ricky Johnson. Um, his stat speaks for himself. He's pretty average until he gets up to the plate. Um, you're better off trying to like a bunt, trying to get a bunt or a grounder off of him. He has pretty good speed, so he can steal a couple bases for us. So that's always a nice thing to have. All right, so we have two. We have two members of the uh, of the season one squad. Now we have one more member of the season one squad, and it's Stephanie Morgan. Pick me, pick me, because I know everything there is to know about baseball. I was you, I try to pick some good solid outfielders because you can count on me to hold down the infield because that's my specialty. Oh, I love your enthusiasm, Steph. So Stephanie Morgan, she was part of the season one team as well. Uh, she wasn't like, she wasn't all like impressive with her hitting. She was generally average. She hit about, I want to say 400, which is pretty decent in backyard baseball. Um, in the playoffs, she like, she had a couple of, she had a bunch of errors going into the last couple days in the season, and then when the playoffs started, pff, she was a rock at at shortstop. So, and she can pitch an inning or two, but keep it that way. <laughs> so, all right, our last player. Oh man. Our last player, uh, she is an interesting pick. Um, when her name came up, I'm like, uh, eh, she's okay. I wouldn't say she's spectacular, but she's semi decent. Her name, go she goes by the name of Billie Jean Blackwood. If y'all need somebody who's handy with the bat, just pick me. For don't, don't let that batting stat fool you. I had her during, during, with a team during a stream, and I don't remember her getting the ball out of the infield. I might have been using her wrong. Who knows? But uh, she's she's basically your first baseman. Uh, she's really tall. She You can't really overthrow her. But uh, 
yeah, she'll be our first baseman, and I'm not too sure where we put her in the batting lineup, but I was trying to piece together, piece that together before I record, but I was just like, screw it. I'll just wing it. <laughs> no, won't regret this, you hear? So here is your season one team of Backyard Baseball 2001. So we have a pretty solid group, if I say so myself. Um, do I think this team is good enough to win it all? I want to say yes. Do I think they can go undefeated? Okay. Let me, let me just say this now. I recently started a season on here. And as you saw during the recording, it was the Kansas City Royals. Um, I'm three and one. Yes, I lost a game already. Uh, this game is harder than 97. I thought 97 was more difficult because the, because I remember the times when I played it. Ew. <laughs> it was just, it was awful. Like, the fielding sucked. But now when I'm playing this game again, I'm like, wow, this is much more difficult than I thought. So, right now, uh, let's, oh, you know what? Let's see who's in the standings. We got the Mariners, the Angels, and the Monsters. In the National League East, we got the Expos, Braves, Mets, and Melonheads. Oh, we got the Philly Melonheads. All right, then. <laughs> and then the National League Central, we got the, the Chicago Bombers, the Cardinals, Pirates, and Astros. And we got the, oh, by the way, any uh, baseball nerds out there or, you know, diehard baseball, the Astros were actually in the National League back in the day. And then they switched up to the American League. By the way, they're in the World Series, and they're playing like crap. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so that's the National League Central. The, Na the National League West are the Padres, Dodgers, Giants, and Wombats. Wow. Okay, then. I don't know who's taking the Wombats' place. I don't know who the Wombats, whoever took their place. And then the American League East, we got the Blue Jays, Orioles, the New York Fishes and the Boston Red Sox. I love it. <laughs> oh, my God. And then the American League Central, we got the Tigers, the Indians, the Royals, and the Hornets. So the American League Central. Okay. Just looking at it. And then we got our division. So there's that. Oh, we got to play on the road to start things off. And it's against the Monsters. And I want to say in the American League West that... I say, who are the Monsters in the American League West? Ugh. And, that, and now, now it's going to bother me the whole time that, now that I don't know. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's set up our infield, which I already know what it is. Um, Billy Jean's going to be uh, first base. I'm going to start Amir Khan for today's game since it's on the road. Um, I'm Oh, jeez. Look at Marky Dubois. His batting's gone up, so I might save him for batting out there, but he's going to be our third baseman. Uh, Ricky will be our left fielder. Uh, Vicky will be our uh, right fielder. Maria Luna will be center field. Ivan Rodriguez. Ooh, that's not good. Ivan Rodriguez will be our catcher, as per usual, or as it's going to be. Amir Khan's going to start. Pablo's going to be... Oh, I'm sorry. Stephanie's going to be shortstop. Maria's going to be second baseman, and then Pablo's going to be out in the center field. And we're at Steel Stadium. This center field is so short, so if Pablo gets a couple of fly balls in the center field, it's going to be an easy time. But the same could go to the other team who has Ernie Steele. <laughs> of course. Um, and that's basically it. But this seems like a decent team. Oh, man. These guys can hit. Even Ernie can hit him. He's on a... Jeez, my, my goodness. What did you eat today, Ernie? <laughs> so, oh, before we set up, let me... Nope. Oh. I'm okay with the music. The chatter? No thanks. It gets annoying after a while. Like, I'll put the chatter on, like, in my own time. But during the recording, it's just like, it's so annoying. But, yeah, I turn the commentary off because I, I like doing my own commentary. And, by the way, 
Let me guy let you guys need to let me know if you want to see this full screen or you want me to do the same setup as 97 with the webcam up top, the team on the right, and then the team logo on the bottom. So please let me know how you want that. Um, yeah. So that's our team. And okay, let's fix up this lineup first. Pablo's going to back clean up. Yvonne Rodriguez will be third. Um... Amir Khan will be 7th. Marky will be 6th. Or no, 8th. I'm sorry. Wow. 6th. Maria Luna will be 6th. Or should we put... Uh... Yeah, Billy Jean at 9th would make sense. Amir Khan. Yeah. Yeah, this makes sense. But uh, Stephanie Morgan at 2nd. Mm... Eh, let's keep it that way. Excuse me, but uh, we got Vicky leading off, which I which I had originally. Stephanie Morgan at second, Ivan Rodriguez batting third, Pablo batting batting cleanup, Ricky Johnson batting fifth, Maria Luna batting sixth, Amir Khan batting seventh, Marky Boy batting eighth, and Billy Jean Blackwood batting ninth. So that's going to be the first game of the season. And everybody's pretty healthy. Oh, Billy Jean, what in the world? Oh, this is all. We're already off to a blazing start. <laughs> so, all right, let's get our first game going. Shut up, Styles. Come on. Alrighty. Who's ready for some baseball? I know I am. But uh, we, the Texas Rangers, will be facing off against the Super Duper Monsters, and I like their colors. Green and orange? That's That looks pretty cool. But uh, let's do it to it. All right. And we're batting first since we're on the road. And Ernie Steele is pitching. And here's Vicky Kawaguchi to start things off for us. Oh, let me do some scouting real quick. What's the catcher? Ooh, okay. All right, I think we might, might go the grounder way here. Uh, the bunt, the catcher's pretty quick on it, so... All right, here we go. The first pitch of season one is underway. And it's in there for a strike. Also, the strike zone, <laughs> even if it's like a pixel in the strike zone, it will be called a strike. So the strike zone, much wider in this game than it was in 97. Strike two, Vicky Kawaguchi, already an 0-2 hole, but she was known in season one to get those insane at-bats with like 12 pitches. Here we go. The 0-2. Swing, grounder, fouled away. And the count stays 0-2. And, and let's see what Ernie Steele has in store today. He is a pretty decent pitcher. Oh, and there's a heat pitch, and there's a little pop-up. That's going to drop. Vicky's going to on the run. Whoa, and a huge throw, and it's dropped by the first baseman. Vicky's going to go to second, and she's in there. Gets a double off the error. Okay, exactly what we needed there. I like it. And here comes Stephanie Morgan, to step, uh, who's stepping up to the plate. Welcome back, Stephanie. As you can tell, I've modeled my stance off the great babe. I always like Stephanie. She is prone to errors in the beginning of the season. Like I've noticed since I the longest time I've played this. Oh, let me see. Uh, that's not a good pitch. Oh, hop high for ball one. Ernie still was throwing nothing but strikes until that pitch, so he must be. Feeling good about his pitches. But uh, Steph, always a solid player. Doesn't necessarily come up with, like, home run uh, hits, but she can get some solid contact, and she is pretty good at getting uh, putting balls in play, so that's always nice to know. So the 2-0, are we going to swing at this one? No. And it's in there for a strike. See? That's barely in the strike zone, but it was called a strike. So, all right, the 2-1. And we're going to let that one go. Ball three, the three one. Usually hitters count here. But we're going to just hit for contact and see if we can advance Vicky Kawaguchi in. Looks like a good pitch to swing at. And, ooh, it's a grounder to the catcher to play. Vicky throwing. Oh, man. Gun down at third. And she's out. That's bad. But, uh, ooh, we got Ivan Rodriguez here. Watch this one. 
But um, wow, she was gunned down at third, and she had the, and we uh, went in for the hit and run. So that says something. Yvonne hits it up the middle. Ooh, this might be two. There's one. And two. And that's the double play. That'll end the inning. So the Rangers gets Vicky on the first. Or no, into second. And then she was gunned down by the catcher. I thought she had it. But anyway, Sheila Basanti will lead things off for the Monsters. And Amir Khan, first game as a starter. The game says he's more for a closer's role, but I'm just going to see how we do. Ooh, there's a bunt, and I'm surprised it's not a crazy bunt. And throw to first, out, one pitch, one out. Amir likes that. Who knows what kind of power-up the monsters have, and I'm pretty sure they're going to use it at some point. All right, let's go with a high heat. There's Sarah Maxwell swinging a miss, strike one. We did some, we did some scouting before the game. This team can hit, so... Strikeouts are probably going to be your, going to be key later. And it's in there for strike two. Good pitch by Amir. The heat is going. He has a pretty good heat. I think his worst pitch is the left hook. That's what I want to say. But All right, he wants that slow ball. We're going to go outside slow ball. We're going to try and paint the corner here. Got her looking. Oh, baby. All right, Amir starting off perfect here. Four pitches, two outs, and he has a strikeout. Well done. So, oh, he wants that heat. Let's go high in, hide inside. And there's a bunt, and it's fouled away. So I'm guessing they don't have a crazy bunt. Crazy bunts are ridiculously OP in this game. And that's, ooh, it's in there for ball one. Just missed. If that's up a teeny bit more, I think that's like a borderline strike. All right, let's go lone inside with the slow ball. The 1-1. One, one. Swing, and I missed one and two. Good pitch, Amir. All right, does he want that heat? Ooh, high heat. Let's go for it. The 1-2. Oh, just missing up high. All right. The count is two and two. He wants that slow ball. Let's go. Ooh, let's try and paint it. The 2-2. The two, two. Ooh, that's a fly ball on the left. Marky, that's going to be a... Fair ball down the line. And that's going to be a ground rule double since it is out of play. It, I guess it's out of play, but okay. So it's a, it's a two-out double for the Monsters, and they have an RBI chance. Let's see if they can come away with this. So Susan Gore coming in. We haven't really thrown a hook yet, so here we go. Strike one, 0-1. Mir Khan ha got the first two outs, but he's in a little bit of a jam, but eh. it's all about how you get it. Get out of this. Oh, it's a crazy butt. Wow. They were saving it. Oh no. That is bad news. Oh man. It's going to be the first run for the monsters. Oh, what a time to save it. Oh geez. Billy Jean. Watch out for Amir, my guy. But, oh, wow, they used the crazy bunt. That's ridiculous. They used the normal bunt. Wow, we got jabated, my guys. <laughs> we got straight up jabated. Okay. Well, that was pretty crafty. All right. All right, so Amir Khan trying to get that last out that's in there for a strike. And the Rangers already down one nothing here to start the season. Not really Amir's fault. Can't really do much. Against the crazy bun and pray that it doesn't get that far. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Oh and two. Okay, let's see if Amir can get out of this inning. That high left hook is usually a pretty good strikeout pitch. Swing! That was drilled, and luckily it's a foul ball. <laughs> that was tattooed, but fortunately for Amir, that wasn't... That wasn't... Fair, or else that could be another one. All right, here comes the 0-2 pitch again. Swing and a miss. He got her. Got her swinging on a low slow ball, and we're out of the inning. But the monsters up one nothing, and here's our first round pick, the legend himself, Pablo Sanchez. And if anybody is a baseball person out there, especially in MLB, I relate Pablo Sanchez with Jose Altuve. Because Jose Altuve is amazing. 
Here comes the opening pitch, and that's ball. Oh, I'm sorry. Strike one. Up in the up upper part of the plate. Pablo's home run plate. <laughs> you can hit up just about anything. Oh, that looks like that looked juicy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's 0 and 2. So the 0 2 pitch coming up for Ernie Steele. Swing. That's drilled. Oh, Ernie couldn't come up with it. And it. Whoa! It didn't touch the ground? Wow! So, backyard baseball physics, it popped up after okay. Ernie couldn't handle it and he caught it anyway. Okay. So, ooh, Ricky, why are you in a cold streak? You're not losing any stats, so that's. All right, so we're going to go for a line drive here with Ricky Johnson. His hitting stat is a one, but you never know what he's capable of. And here comes Ernie's first pitch of this at bat. Down low and outside for ball one. So Pablo with nice contact, but Ernie's like, um, no. And there's ball two. Two and oh. Ricky just having that uh, bat on his shoulder. He takes that stance a lot and that's a pie for ball three whoo i think we're gonna work the count here we're gonna take this next pitch no matter where it is ernie steel the 3-0 that's in there for strike one in the uh lower part of the plate so the 3-1 we're gonna take this pitch that's strike two three and two we got a full count, but you know what? We're going to make Ernie work here. Let's see if we can work the count and get him tired. Swing and a miss. Oh, we swung at a ball. Well, you never know with that left hook. So Ricky Johnson strikes out, and it's two down here in the second. And here's Maria Luna. Oh, yeah, Maria Luna. She can either... Destroy the ball, or it's like a solid hit. Swing, that's a little blooper. Third baseman's got it. Throw to first. In there for number three. A one, two, three inning for Ernie Steele. And the Monsters re uh, keep the lead intact at one nothing here. And now it's Parker Column. Who is up to bat here. And that's ball one just a little bit low for Amir Khan. He wants that high heat. He loves the high heat. I mean, I do too. Ooh. Oh, whoa! That's a ball? Seriously? Yo, ump! Open your eyes, my guy! Wow! Amir Khan's like, you gotta be kidding me! Swing, and that's fouled away. Two and one. This one's gonna be a strike. Wow! I'm surprised that was a ball. All right, we're going to the outside heat. Ooh, ball three in the outside. And Amir, not too happy with that call. Here comes the 3-1. Swing, that's fouled away, and it's a full count. The Monsters. All right, how about a low and away heat? The 3-2. Got him looking. That's strikeout number three. Amir Khan with three strikeouts. And speaking of the devil, here comes Ernie Steele in his backyard. His home backyard. I'm sure the BS uh, the BBL does not he does not mind the BBL using his field swing and a miss own one. Ernie has a pretty cool swing. Luckily he Luckily it's not all that great, but he has some boosted stats. And that's just low for ball one. So Amir Khan, when he misses, it's not by much. So I'm not too worried. He's been pitching pretty well. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that's in there for a strike two. One and two. So, oh, he wants that high heat. Here comes the 1-2. Swing, that's a grounder left side. Marky's got it. Throw to first in time. And it's our first taste of the defense. And Marky was like, Steph, I got it. He dove for it, got it. And that was a pretty good throw to first, so. Marky the boy starting off well. Pamela Kirkos. 
That's in there for strike one. Nice left hook from Amir Khan. Here comes the 0-1. Outside, ball one. It's that slow ball that's just missing outside. Oh, he wants to try again. The 1-1. Missing outside again. Two and one. Alright, I think we're gonna stay clear of the slow ball for now. Alright, let's try the lone in. Left hook. Swing that to grounder. Left side again. Marquis got it. Throw to first. Out number three. The side is retired. A nice one, two, three inning for Amir Khan. And speaking of which, here he is. And we are so going for power because your your running isn't all that great. Here comes Ernie's next pitch. That's in there for a strike up in the up and inside. So top of the third. Rangers still wanting that, still looking for that first run of the season. Swing that popped up into right field. Playable for the right fielder. Makes the catch. It's out number one. Here comes Marky Dubois, or Du Bois. I'm gonna clover this one like a squirrel in a nut house. A squirrel in a nut house. Okay, Marky. Marky feeling pretty good about his bat today. And that's down low for ball one, just missing. Ernie Steele was only giving up the two hits. Here comes the 1 0. Swing, and that's a little grounder to the catcher. The throw to first, in time for out number two. And here comes Billy Jean Blackwood, who is not feeling that well today. So let's see if we can get a walk. And... I'm going to park this one in the bleachers, you hear? I wish you could. Because you do like high up in the zone is your area, but let's see. And that's in there for strike one, own one. So the Rangers' offense, very quiet to start this game. We had something going in the first, but Vicky was gunned down, unfortunately. And that's in there for ball one, one and one. All right, we're just going to wait until we get up to uh, two strikes in the count. And, oh, a spitball, but it misses. Two and one. Ernie Steele. So far, so good. Two and two-thirds shutout. And, ooh, there's a hard hit ball straight to Ernie. And he makes the play. That's out number three. That's, I like the high ball that he showed, but, I mean, if Billie Jean Blackwell was 100%, I'm sure that would have went farther. But, all right, so Amir Khan gets into his third inning of work. It's a quick game right now. Swing, that's a grounder up the middle. Amir's got it. Throw to first. Out number one. It seems like the pitchers have settled in here. Amir Khan let up that first run, but it was because of a crazy bunt. So, not necessarily his fault. He wants the slow ball outside. And that ball, that pitch has been missing all day, unfortunately. So, oh, he wants that left hook. Let's go outside. The 1-0. And going for the bunt, and she missed. That might have been another crazy bunt. So, count our blessings, please. So, how about low and inside? Heat. Swing, and that's fair. Yvonne gets it. Throw to first. What a cannon of an arm he's got. That's out number two. I think overall our fielding on this team is probably one of the best. But you never know. All right. Let's see if we can get that outside slow ball. There it is. Good pitch. Right where we wanted it, too. Oh, he likes it, but let's go inside this time. And the 0-1. And it's a bunt. Or are they trying to debate us again? And it's 0-2. Oh, no intentional walk. What's that? A slow ball. Oh, you know what? Same pitch. The 0, the 0 2 ah, Inside for ball one. Amir Khan, pretty, pretty good right now. Three strikeouts. The one-two. Swing. That's driven to the center field. That's going back over the over the shed and gone. A home run for the Monsters. 
and they ex double their lead. It's two to nothing. Ugh. Right when we thought we had him, she clobbers that one into center field. That's short center field. If this isn't Steel Stadium, that's in the park. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that's a solo shot. And the Monsters lead 2 nothing, And it comes with two outs. So, that's a clutch hit. And a much-needed insurance run for the Monsters. Here comes the 0-1. Or no. Here comes the pitch, and it's 1-0 and on the outside. So, Amir Khan... Couldn't keep that one in the park. Here comes the 1-0. Swing, that's driven left side. That's foul. So the count is 1-1. One one. All right. The Rangers this have some work to do. Here comes the 1-1. One one. And that's a bunt. Not a very good one. Amir's got to hurry up. Tough play. In there for out number three. But not until a solo shot. With two outs. Helps the Monsters lead now two to nothing. But here comes Vicky Kawaguchi. She got a double off an error. And hopefully she can get something going here for the lineup. Swing that's fouled away 0-1. Vicky Kawaguchi. Always a tough out. Especially when the ball is in play. Swing, that's fouled away, 0-2. 2-2. and two. Two and two. We're 0-2. Oh wow, what is with me today? All right, the 0-2 for Ernie Steele. And that's a grounder. It's a little dribbler. Ooh, it's going to be a tough play to first, and the first baseman couldn't get there in time. I don't know why they played a shift all the way back. That was an odd play, but... Stephanie Morgan! As Vicky is on for her second hit of the day. She's got a double and a single. As you can tell, I've modeled my stance off the great babe Ruth. So her leadoff day is looking pretty good right now. So Stephanie Morgan. No outs. Let's see if Vicky can steal one. And never strike one. Vicky's gonna go. And oh gee, she is gunned down. And she's in at first. My god. That catcher has an arm. All right, see if we can get a hit and run going here. The 0-1. And that's a pop-up. And no, he could. Oh, he caught it. Oh, that's a double play. Oh, my God. See, here's the thing in 2001 that I don't like. In 97, you can actually send all runners back if need be. But in this game, you can't. Which is like the weirdest thing. Swing fouled away. Yvonne Rodriguez trying to get something going here for this offense. I mean, he's not necessarily not feeling well. It's just, let's see what he can do. And that's an effort strike two, 0 and 2. In a deep hole, Ernie Steele pitching very well. And with an 0-2 pitch with two outs. And it's outside for ball one. That was close. But that was a good take. The 1-2 coming up. Let's see if Yvonne can drive it here. It's up high for ball two. 2-2. Two and two. Ernie Steele, 37 pitches, one strikeout. He's got a couple double plays under his belt. Up high for ball three, and it's a full count. So, Yvonne Rodriguez. Here comes the payoff pitch from Ernie Steele. Ball four, that's a walk. All right. So, after being down 0-2, four straight balls. And here comes Pablo representing the tying run. Pablo Sanchez... The team is counting on you to deliver a clutch home run to tie this game in the fourth. Oh. Swing. Oh, it's a pop-up. Are you kidding me? That was a meat pitch. And it's caught, and that'll end the inning. Unbelievable. Oh, Pablo, what are you doing? 
My God! See, if this was 97, that ball would have been gone. <laughs> so, Amir, we'll stick him in with one more inning, and then we'll probably bring in the uh, bullpen. But here comes the opening pitch of this inning. Ooh, ball one missing. That slow ball has not been working for you. All right. The 1-0. Ooh, ball two. Ugh. So a 2-0. And Susan Gore got that RBI double with the crazy bunt. Here's swing and that's fouled away. 2-1. and one. Looks like she had a nice cut at that, too. Here comes the 2-1. Swing and a miss two and two now. Amir Khan fighting back here to get this count even. The two two. Here comes a left hook. Got her looking for number four. Amir Khan. He's essentially only thrown one bad pitch. When you think about it, it was only one bad pitch he's thrown. So he's looked pretty good. Here comes the pitch. And never strike one. Good pitch. Nice spot. With that right hook. Here comes the 0 1. Zoe Malloroy has a strikeout. Ooh, just missing outside for ball one. With a slow ball. Do you really want to use the slow ball here? The 1 1. Swing, grounder, fouled away. 1 and 2. Here comes the one two. Here Con trying to make this a quick inning. Oh, a pie for ball two. More inside of anything, but let's try that same pitch again. The two two. Got her looking on the corner. That was a disgusting pitch. My god, Amir. Five strikeouts on the day. Well done, sir. Here comes the O. Here comes the opening pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Got him chasing. All right. Let's give him more juice. So. Amir. Going with the swing foul away. 0 oh 2. Amir trying to take. Trying to make it four solid innings for the day. Here comes the 0 oh 2. Outside for ball one. Just missed on that pitch. All right, same pitch. See if we can get it this time. The one, two. Swing, that's popped up. And nobody calling for it. Amir can't make the catch. Seriously, guys? <laughs> Stephanie was making a beeline toward it. Mark was making a beeline toward it. They were going to run into each other. Oh, and here comes Ernie Steele, and who knows what kind of bat power up they have. Hopefully we can get out of this. Here comes the pitch. Strike one on the inside part of the plate. Here comes the slow ball, the 0-1. The Swing and a miss, 0-2. Nice pitch. Painting the corners at this point. I right, go with a high heat. The 0-2. Swing, and that's popped up. Yvonne Rodriguez doesn't want to get it right away. The throw to first in time, and that'll end the inning. So, Amir gets into a little bit of trouble, but he gets out of it. And here comes Ricky Johnson. Struck out his last time up. Ernie Steele. Okay, I'm going to try to make a hit. If that's okay. Of course it's okay, Ricky. We need one. Here we go. And that's a pot. Ooh, outside for ball one. Never mind. So, Ernie Steele going to his fifth inning of work. 41 pitches. Let's work the count here. In there for strike one. Make him throw some pitches. Get the one that we really, really like. The 1-1 one, one coming up. And there for strike two. All right, we're going to protect the plate here. Ernie Steele has been very good. He's drawn a walk. He has a strikeout, but all that matters is that zero. Swing, that's popped up. The catcher 
Makes the catch out, number one. Here comes Maria Luna. I sure hope so, because we need it. We need a hit badly. And that's a never strike one. Maria trying to get something going here for the Rangers offense. And that's down down in the zone. That's one and one. Monsters trying to make a good impact on the at their first home game. The one one coming up. Low again, ball two, two and two and one. Just a little too low for that strike zone. Ernie Steele. Ball three. Oh, just missing. A three one pitch. Maria has the hitters count here. The three one. Ball four, that's a walk. And a leadoff walk for Maria Luna. Hopefully that'll spark something in this lineup. And here comes Amir Khan. Let's try some hit and run here. Line drive it. Power has not worked out for us right now. And that's down low for ball one. So Ernie Steele after... Throwing that first pitch strike through four straight balls, I believe, but still. Swing. That's driven to the right center field. That's going to fall for a hit. That'll go to the shed. Oh, my goodness. Maria going for third. She's got it. All right. A one-out sing. A nice, nicely hit ball from Amir. And we got a runner in scoring position. Here comes Marky the boy. All right. I sure hope for your sake. Marky the boy with runners at the corners. One out. Huge opportunity for the Rangers here. And that's down low for ball one. Marky wants to get something going. And that one's outside for ball two. Ernie Steele not looking good here in this fifth inning. The Monsters elected to stick with their starter for this fifth inning. And he finally finds the plate there with a nice outside pitch to make it two and one. The two one coming up. Swing and a miss. Oh. And Amir's going to retreat back. I still don't think we would have made it, even if we kept going. All right, so that was a nice outside pitch that we just threw away. All right, the 2-2. Two -two. Swing, and Amir struck him out. Ugh. That's going to hurt. So, runners at the corners, two outs, and we got Billy Jean Blackroom. Oh, no. Marky the boys, that was, you had one job, sir. We had one job. <laughs> All right, Billy Jean, let's see what we can do here. Ernie Steele trying to get out of this jam. Ball one. Let's see if some aggressive base running can make them think here. It's fouled away at one and one. Billy Jean's again not feeling too good, but here comes the one one. And that's a little blooper. That's gonna fall. And Amir's going to be out at second, and then I'll end the inning. So a huge opportunity wasted. But we have the heart of the we have the top of the order going into the sixth. So bottom of the fifth, we're going to change things up. We're going to have <clears throat> let's have Ricky Johnson go into the game. And Pablo will just cover left field. 
So, all right, Ricky Johnson will come in in relief. Let's see what he can do. Keith's not all that great. He has a nice left hook. So, left hook is his pitch. So, just asking him for one more inning. And there's strike one. Good pitch from Ricky. He wants to throw that high heat, and so be it. The 0 1. Swing and a miss. 0 2. Good stuff, Ricky. Coming in relief. Four solid innings from, uh, from Amir. Here comes the 0 2. Just missing down low. Oh, he said left hook. So the one two pitch. Oh, just missing inside. And Ricky was like, oh, so close. Let's see if an inside slow ball gets him. The two two. Swing fouled away. And the count stays two and two. It's a nice cut from Pamel and Kirkos. Here comes the two two. Swing, grounder left side. Marky's got it. The throw to first. In time, that'll be out number one. Murray Goldman coming or stepping up to the plate. Ricky says, I want to start with a left hook. And so we shall. At the grounder up up towards Ricky. The throw to first. In time for out number two. Two quick outs here in the bottom of the fifth. As the Ranger, the Ranger, or not the Rangers, the Monsters are hoping to add some insurance runs, but so far, two batters, two outs. Here comes the pitch. Strike one. That was nasty, Ricky. Holy smokes. That left hook is ridiculously good. How about high slow ball? Oh, no, 1, and that's 0 and 2. Gets her swinging early. Here comes the 0 2. Got her looking. That'll end the inning. And Ricky tosses a 1-2-3 inning in the fifth. Well done. And we have Vicky Kawaguchi up to the plate. Here is the top of the order for the Rangers. If there was ever a time to get the hitting started, it's right now. Ernie still trying to go for the complete game here. A complete game shutout, but... That's up high for ball one. Vicky Kawaguchi hoping to get on base for the third time today. That's ball two outside, so Ernie can't find the plate right now. The 0-2, we're going to let him go. Just missing it inside. That's ball three. So, Vicky, we're going to have a red light here. And that's in there for strike one. Finally got over the plate. The 3-1 coming up for Ernie Steele. In there for strike two. Full count. Let's see what Ernie Steele wants to deliver here. The full count for Vicky. Swing fouled away. Vicky getting on base, I believe, is crucial to this inning. So, the seventh pitch of the at bat. Ernie Steele, the payoff. Swing, foul away again. So, the eighth pitch of this at bat coming up. Swing, grounder. That's a strong grounder. And that's going to be out number one. Ugh, oh, that's not what we needed. Here comes Stephanie Morgan, who got a single her last time up. And it's really dependent on what we can do here. Okay, I'm just going to keep my eye on the ball and knock the cover off of it. One out. Nobody on. Stephanie Morgan, we need a hit. That's in every strike one. Ernie Steele. Trying to make a complete game shutout to the Rangers. We need something. And that's down low ball one. Ernie Steele, three straight balls that at bat and then came back strong. So, here comes the 1-1. One, one. Ball two down low, 2-1. Two and one. We're getting some decent counts, but we're not capitalizing on it. Ooh, and they take out Ernie and put in Courtney Valentino. 
Name sounds familiar from the 97 series. Swing fouled away, two and two. The 2-2 two -two coming up. Swing, that's tattooed up the line at the center field. Oh, big throw. Stephanie gets on. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. All right. Here comes Ivan Rodriguez. I'm sending this one back to Vega Baja. Vega Baja. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get a hit and run action here. Swing, that's a ground to right side. First baseman. Oh, no, that might be a double play. No, it's not. Oh, Ivan gets on. Wow, the, the pitcher missed the ball. So, new life. And Pablo representing the last hope for the Texas Rangers. We need a homer, and badly. Pablo 0 for 2 today has popped up every single time. And that's a pie for ball one. Oh, man. Pablo. A timely hit here. And that's strike one. It's just a little lower than the last location, and it's in there for a strike. A 1-1 one -one coming up for Cor Courtney Valentino. And the Rangers are down to their final strike. The 1-2 coming up. Pablo's, we got we to gotta protect the plate somehow. Down low for ball two. Whoop. I saw that dip a little bit, so I'm like, all right, I got to take that one. All right, the 2-2 two -two coming up. Swing, that's belted! Left center field! This game is tied! Pablo, down to the last strike, down to the final out. Clutch home run, and we have a new ball game, folks. It's tied at two. He crushed that one. Oh, baby, what a time to deliver. It's a new ball game. Wow. And the Rangers tied it at two. So that... So that dub, that potential game-ending double play with with Courtney Valentino missing the throw the first proved so costly. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna try to make a hit. Okay. Oh my god! What a new ball game we have here, folks. Two two. Pablo comes up clutch. Whew! And it's a ball one for Ricky Johnson. That was so deflating. And that's in there for strike one. One and one. Top of the six. We got to use our bullpen to get through this game. Down low for ball two. Two and one. Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm so hyped. You have no idea. And that's in there for strike two. Two and two. So, Courtney Valent, so Ernie Steele, I don't think he was responsible for any of the hitters there. So, and there's a hit down to the right side, and that might be a hit. Ricky Johnson gets a base hit on the right side. Who said he couldn't hit? Well done, Ricky Johnson, and that'll bring up Maria Luna. She, she... Through my experience, Maria has had her moments hitting. She's hit a couple homers for me before. And that's down low for ball one. Ricky's going to try and go. And, oh, he's tug out at the plate. Tug out. I, I hesitated. Here we go. We got Sarah Maxwell. Oh, I, forgot, I forgot Ricky was slow because he was pitching, but... All right, we're going to make a pitching change, and it's going to be, oof. It's going to be Pablo, since he just batted. Uh, Pablo will be pitching in relief, and then he's got decent speed out there. All right, Ricky will take arms at second base. While Maria man's, uh, takes up left field. So, all right. A 
generally have the same speed, but oh well. Pablo Sanchez stepping in in relief. Sarah Maxwell had that solo shot in the third. Swing that's tattooed. And Amir will cover that one. Ooh, we have a chance for the play. Oh, no. All right. Oh, Billy G. Oh, whoa, whoa. Maxwell's like, I'm going to try and sneak by Billy G. And Billy G's like, uh uh, I heard you. <laughs> so, out number one it is. Here comes Courtney Valentino, who also got a double. I believe she used a crazy bump, but I'm not too sure. Swing grounder right to Pablo. He gets it. The throw to first, out number two. So, Pablo. Two quick outs here, and here comes Susan Gar. Oh, she used the crazy bunt. That's what it was. And here comes the pitch. Swing grounder to Pablo, and he's got it! What a clinic by Pablo! And that'll be a 1-2-3 inning for the Rangers. Great bullpen work. Two shutout innings, and here comes Maria Luna once again. This time Maria Luna has a chance to either get up a base hit, be a hero, or who knows. That's in there for strike one, 0-1. Oh, my God. I can't believe we tied it with down to our last strike. My God. And that's strike two, 0-2. Oh two. Holy moly. I thought we were going to get shut out at our first game. Definitely looked that way. Swing, that's tattooed in a right field. Oh, and the second baseman into the shift. And he makes a nice play. Here comes Amir Khan. Amir Khan with a nice line drive base hit his last time up. Let's see what he can, see what he's got via power. Not with that pitch. Strike one. So we're in extras. Top of the seventh inning. And that's ball one. One and one. Courtney Valentino is still in relief here. The Monsters like their chances with her. Even though she gave up that hit. Swing. That's a pop flying to right center. Does it have the distance? No. But it's going to drop. And oh, that's thrown away. Amir's going to go. Let's see if Amir can beat that throw. He's in there for a double. Let's go. And the, the leading run is at second base when Marky the boy is up. I'm going to go over this one like a squirrel in a nut house. Oh, if he got a little bit more of that, it might have been a home run. Swing. That's driven to right field. Marky the boy into the gap. Marky the boy. He's going to go for a triple. That'll score a run. The Rangers take the lead. Oh, we might just go. We're going to go for the inside the parker. He's got it. Two run inside the park home run. The Rangers lead four to two. Let's go. What a hit. I'm going to park this one in the bleachers, you hear? Frog Kid himself. Wow. Swing and a miss 0 and 1 for Billie Jean Blackwood. Oh my god. <laughs> Who would have thought? Here comes the 0 1. And that's strike 2, 0 and 2. Holy Jesus. What an explosive past couple of innings we've had. First it's the heart of the lineup, and now it's the dirty part of the. Uh, or the yeah, the dirty part of the lineup. Let's go. Mark it a boy. Now, if he's not feeling good, if he just has his regular stats, I don't know how far that's going to go, but that's Billie Jean. The throw to first, in time for out number two. And here we go with the top of the order. Vicky Kawaguchi. Here comes the graceful ballerina to the plate. Uh, she grounded out to the pitcher her last time up. Let's see what she can do here. Swing, that's fouled away. Yep. Foul, 0 and 1. Let's keep this inning going, because why not? The more insurance runs, the better.
Swing, fat away, 0 and 2. So Vicky down to her last strike here, trying to extend this inning in the set uh, with two outs. Swing, fouled away again. Wow, just imagine if we if they got that double play. Oh man, we'd be out of here. And that's outside for ball one, one and two. Oh man, <laughs> it's gonna be fun watching this again. Corkscrew pitch, and it's hit to the right side. It's going to be a tough play to throw. Not in time, and Vicky gets an infield hit. She's three for four today. We will definitely take that. Oh, and we got a power-up. Now, with my rule with power-ups, I, I don't use them until I actually need them, need to, if I'm losing or whatever. Hey, I'm just going to keep my eye on the ball and not the Who do we get? Oh, we got the screaming line drive. But Murray Goldman will come in relief. Court Valentino with four earned runs. That's ridiculous. Here comes the Corkers pitch in there for strike one. Vicky's going to try and steal. She's in there. She gets her first steal of the year. And she's in prime scoring position. Let's see if Stephanie can make solid contact here. Two runs in the sixth. Two runs here in the seventh. And the Rangers lead here in the extras 4-2. Trying to shock this home opener. And they've shocked the Monsters here as they thought they had this in the bag. I don't know why they took out Ernie. But here comes the 1-2. That's inside 2-2. Two and two. I say if we get a base hit in the gap, we might be able to score Vicky. Who knows? All right, the 2-2. Two, two. Swing, that's a little grounder to the pitcher. The throw to first. In time, that'll end the inning, but not until Marky the boys gets that inside-the-park home run. That two-run inside-the-park home run. But do we keep Pablo out there? I think we do. So Pablo's going to stay out there to try and close this thing out. Because he, he pitched a great inning. And, ooh, that's inside for ball one. So, let's see if Pablo can get out of this. Zoe Ma Malleroy. 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Not a very good day for her so far. Going for the bunt. Ooh, that was almost down the line, but it was foul. That was almost a really good bunt. Pablo got out of that first inning in three pitches. I wish I was kidding. All right, the 1-1. One, one. And going for the bunt, and it's 1-2. and two. What if that was a crazy bun? If you miss with a crazy bun, I think it goes away automatically. All right, the one, two. Ooh, didn't get her to chase outside. Two and two. Doesn't want the heat. He wants that left hook inside. All right, the two, two. Got her looking to start the inning. Pablo. In, into his second inning of work here, and he looks pretty good. Got his first strikeout of the year. All right, Parker Collum had a base hit today. Swing fouled away. Ooh, that was at the heart of the plate. Parker wants that one back, but Pablo's like, no, nah, you're not going to get that one again. All right, the 0-1. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Parker, Parker tried to catch up with that heat, but he swung early. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing, grounder, left side. Marky the boys couldn't handle it. He gets it. Kept it in front of him, though, but nice play from Marky. Out number two. He couldn't handle it, but he kept it in, in front of him, which is fundamental baseball there. And just like that, it's two outs here. Ernie Steele representing the last hope. For the Monsters. Here comes the pitch. Swing, that's a pop-up. Who's screaming for it? Marky the boys got it. Makes the catch. And the Rangers. Falling behind 2-0 in the third. Down to their last strike in the sixth. As pa but Pablo. With the clutchest of home runs ever. To tie the game at 2 
And then Marky Du Bois with a two-run inside the park home run. Wow, what a finish. Amir was solid. He only threw one bad pitch. Four solid innings. Uh, two earned runs. But uh, Ernie Steele had no earned runs. But they took him out, and Courtney Valentino has four. Oof. So the Monsters. And here's the thing. They had the, they had the opportunity to close it out with a double play. And Valentino missed it. It got by her, and Ivan was able to get on first. And then Pablo's home run down to the last strike. Their mistakes finally caught up with them. So, what a huge come from behind win to start the season. This, The first six games in 2001 and also 2003 are all division games. So... You need to win as many. If you go like four and two in division play, you have a good shot. So, but dang, the Rangers, huge come from behind win. And Pablo, two shutout innings. What? Three shutout innings from the bullpen after Amir, uh, after Amir left the game, uh, down two nothing. And I think Ricky Johnson will get the. I know Amir. Oh, the, Amir Khan was the winning pitcher. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why that's a thing, but technically Ricky Johnson supposed... No. Yeah, technically Ricky... No. I'm sorry. Technically Pablo should be the winning pitcher, but okay. <laughs> Amir's like, we take those. And the New York fishes explode. Oh my God. Poor Red Sox. Didn't stand a chance. Wow, the Blue Jays scoring the first inning, and that was it. Seattle with a 7-3 win. The Royals with a 7-5 win. The division looking tight right now. Um, Detroit with a 3-1 win. Very nice. Ooh, and the Mets beat the Philly Melonheads 6-3. Two in the top of the six. That's killer. So, ooh, and the Braves shut out the Expos, unfortunately. <laughs> and then the Astros Ooh, they walked it off In the 6th, well done Ooh, and the Cardinals Ooh, the Bombers made it interesting But it wasn't enough And Ooh, the Green Wombats Luan Louis Yo, my girl Luan Louis getting it done Well done And then, wow The Padres the Dodgers tied it with three runs in the sixth, and the Padres still won it. And Sean Green gets the loss. Oh, God. Okay, then. Well, then. Interesting stuff happening around the league, but holy smokes. This. <laughs> oh, my word. What a win. That was amazing. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, because I know I did. But uh, please let me know if you want the full screen, or do you want my set from 97? With the webcam and the team pictures and all that. So, just let me know what you like. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. All right, y'all. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.